So you want to build a professional looking resume with Google Docs. Look no further because this video is going to show you exactly how to make a clean and nice professional looking resume with Google Docs that is easy to read by employers as well as resume screeners online. Now just a brief pointer I want to say the reason why I'm using Google Docs is because I love the versatility and also how flexible it is in terms of editing with Google Docs but whether you're on the go on your phone you can always edit it out and submit another version of your resume. So without further ado let's just jump right in. So the first thing that I like to do usually for my resumes is that I actually change the margins from the top and bottom to 0.5. So what I like to do is I use an illegible font. So you could use Arial, you could use Times New Roman, whatever, but I'm gonna use, actually maybe I'll stick with Times New Roman for this one. So first, uh, obviously goes your name. So here's my name. Yeah, so let's do that. So I'm gonna make it 20 font. And underneath it, what I like to do is I like to put in my location, phone number, along with uh, any other links that you wanna go to. Put in, you know, like, let's just say Los Angeles, California, right? I'm gonna put in my phone number here as well. Obviously, this is an arbitrary phone number. And then what I like to do as well is to put in my LinkedIn profile and my, um, and whatever links you have. I have a GitHub account that I like, you know, my employers to see and everything. So, and just add a link, you know, just add a link here and boom. There you go, right? So now you have a, a link that people could click when, whenever they're on your PDF. Obviously we have to make the different sections, right? So I'm going to type in, for example, education. Uh, it's up to you whether you wanna put this here, uh, center it or put it on the left. I like to center it because it's just easier to read in that sense. So I'm gonna insert a horizontal line here. And you could also change the uh, page setup to change the margins on the side as well. So you can make it all 0.5 if you want to. I like the resumes that kind of fill up the whole page rather than like it being scrunched up into one. So I'm just gonna type in, you know, California University, uh, Los Angeles. I don't know. This is just like, I'm making stuff up, right? What I like most about, you know, this is that like, I like to not waste space because there's a lot of white space here that's wasted, right? So I don't know. I like to just like move it here. Um, and add a, it's called a right tab stop. So what you can do now is if you press tab, you're able to move your pointer here and you're able to put your location. So let's just say, for example, it's not Los Angeles. Just say California, I'll just put in where I put, I just, I'll put in where I went. So California Polytechnic University. Uh, and then I'm gonna go over here to the right where I'm gonna put my location. So it was in Pomona, California. So there you go, and right here. Oops, that's not it. There you go. So now I moved it here. So as you can see, there's not really much wasted space because now I'm able to put the university name and I'm able to put the university location in one line. Same goes if I hit enter and I want to put in, um, you know, my degree, whatever, computer science, right? And then I'm going to put in the, uh, I could put the cumulative GPA again on the right if I want to. So I'm going to add a right stop again and I'm going to type in the GPA that I got. So let's just say like cumulative GPA, which obviously is not mine, but let's just say you got a 4.0, right? I would, you know, add the bullet points here and start with, I don't know, whatever, whatever bullet points you have. I guess it's going to be the same thing over and over again. So you could just go ahead and copy paste this. And instead of education, you could always change it to, you know, work experience. Uh, you could also change this to, you know, I don't know, whatever, whatever applies to your resume, right? So for me, like if you're a CS major, you have a lot of projects, you want to put projects down. And then here I'm going to do like leadership and involvements. And then last but not least, I could add like skills and interests. We could start formatting our resume. And if you hit enter here, go to the left. Again, you could type in your work experience. So you could type in like, I don't know, some uh, big tech company and then press tab. Again, you have that tab stop. Don't forget, you can always move the tab stop to the right. Um, Los Angeles, California, wherever you're, you know, software engineer, put in your title. And what I like to do here is also go to tab stop and I'll actually put in the dates that I'm working there. So for example, let's just say I started August 20, 2022, so present, right? And then here is the place where you would list your responsibilities and you know what you did. So company again to another big tech company here. And same thing again, don't forget to always go to the right and uh, add the location again, let's save so much space in terms of that aspect. And it's really easy to read in terms of like putting everything to the right, right? Add more bullet points here, more bullet points here. So boom, you can see your resume is already coming along and it's actually going by pretty quick. So significant projects, I, I you know, I, I just like to pile them onto one, whatever, whatever interesting projects you have here. So as you can see, your, your resume is already coming along here. Leadership and involvements, I like to do the same thing as well. Usually for me, I like to add my languages. So like languages, I don't know, English, Indonesian, hobbies, 
can put in your hobbies here bowling i don't know i enjoy 3d printing uh video games and as you can see you already have a pretty solid resume here in that in that format again if you ever need to squish more stuff in you could always decrease the front size and here you have so much more space now but again you shouldn't shrink your font size too much because obviously it's not going to be legible right so you want to just keep it at a good size to fill up the space anyways as you can see here this is how i like to make my resume with google docs uh, there's no templates used and it was pretty fairly straightforward and very very quick to do and the best part about it is like i said you could always use it on the phone modify it on the go even when you need to submit something last minute with your resume involved if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below and i will see you guys all in the next video